It's not cheap. Um. Oh, oh, oh Aaron, we, we gotta do this. No, I, I don't mind if you ask for any deck building tips. Um, I'm not a god. I'm just a good deck builder. I said it. I'll definitely, the, I'll definitely help you out. Just uh, th this time, pick scissors. Ask your question on the stream, and then I'll ask it. And if you want anything else, then just you know, shoot me a message. Send me a list, uh, and I'll, I'll try to help you out. Always down to help people out. Oh, Aaron Diaz. This guy's free right from the start, right? Like, as usual. Uh. Uh. Alright, we're getting it in. My man, Breno Montari. Uh, uh <laughs> yeah, Konami's lazy. Uh, trigger. Alright, we're gonna see what he does about this card right here. Is it my go? Good? Why does it take so long? Stream, this isn't my fault. I'm trying to move as fast as possible. It's just really slow. Shout out to Konami for not allowing me to like turbo do this. <laughs> Pretty early? I respect that. Yeah. So we're waiting on our opponent, which is why we were taking so long on some of these turns. Oh, holding the line. Let's see. We got the smiley face. My man smiley facing up right now. Getting lunch money.
we don't want to overextend into a dark hole. So even though we got our other spy from the deck, and technically removing one card from the board, killing a face down card and getting a dark hole is a three for one. I'm not gonna make it a three for two by going in for just a little bit of extra damage. I'm gonna force them to take that three for one and hold that L. Because he's playing spellcasters and that variant doesn't have an OTK. So again, while the cards are pretty bad, one of the tactics that are used in poor or advanced play is basically fair understanding of what your opponent is capable of that you may strategize accordingly. You do that, your opponent is not really going to be able to do anything about what you do. And he's spending the chips right now to get some stuff out of his deck. He wants to flow with, with the Dark Magician. He's about to get some animation. Spend the chips. Either way, he's getting murked. Yeah, he's gonna get murked. Free. Ooh, the magicians. Uh, uh, that looks so hype. So we could pop this for two cards, but first we're going to spin the deck out. We're going to get the Exploder Dragon, and then we're going to draw the cards so that we don't incidentally draw the cards that we could actually be searching out of our deck. Small things like that will always keep you safe. And we'll gladly take 1100 damage here to basically press the advantage. Now while I have a large card advantage, Two of those cards are dead right now due to the Royal Decree. So he's got a little two for one going on until I pop that Royal Decree. And then he's right back at his original disadvantage. We're gonna get the Exploder Dragon out, continue to attack, pop this card, take no damage. So this is another two for one because he spent half his life and exhausted a resource card for me to exhaust one resource card. So I one for one them and he lost basically near 4,000 life. Uh. So sometimes your one for ones, like your three for one advantage or your two for one advantage doesn't come through. But when you get one for ones where the exchange is largely in your favor in terms of life, you take it, it's still advantage. Right now, we gotta hold that. We drew more traps. My man's living it up with that Roy Decree right now. Get it in, man. Let, you'll live it up with that Rory Decree. Uh. Run a Mentori, not. Try not to make it free. Shout outs to him. Oh. oh no, he's about to get press stream. Press him for all his chips. Lunch money. The sad face, the two for one. With the board presence on board. We're gonna hit him first. No defense, pop the back roll. Get him breaker. 
Run him for his chips. Get blown up. He's holding that salt right now. You see the thinking icon? Yeah. He's holding that salt. He was feeling so safe. Then he got top that. Shout outs to Konami. <laughs> Making everything top deck. Uh. Oh no. He's getting ran for the chips. Yes. <laughs> Why are you so free? We got some data. So this guy's working with. Oh, pretty bad cards. All right, he's gonna get Bob string. This guy's pretty Pringles. Playing some pretty bad stuff. Shout out to Konami for being lazy and not letting me look at my uh, extra deck while my opponent's working. Blow him up. We're not gonna die with that card. It's not worth it to give up the call of the haunted and the dire wolf just for the, the instant damage. We're just gonna hold on to the advantage, and let the swords kill itself because you never get hasty. It's not about how bad his deck is, it's just about not developing bad habits. Alright, you know what, stream? I was wrong. This guy's boring me. It's bad. I'm, we're still gonna do it. We're just gonna XYZ. Get the swords off the board. Because I'm bored. And, and, and I want to go to a better opponent already. At least this way, if he has a Gores, 
which he probably most likely doesn't. He'd still only run over the hyena, I'd get two hyenas. Sorry, I'm back. Tell me what it is. Is it free yet? It's it, it's been free. I want a better opponent already. I even like made a hasty uh negative like one play, technically negative two. Oh, it's because you want to end itself. it. Yeah, just wanted to be over. Oh, uh, it's about to be free.